So in this one, it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. All right? So the relationships of 30, 60, 90 triangles are going to be totally different, Zach, than what we did for 45, 45 triangles. And the difference here is from the short leg. I always like to, my reference point when I'm doing similar triangles with 30, 60, 90s is always the short leg. So if I know the short leg, the hypotenuse is really easy. To go from the short leg to the hypotenuse, I just multiply by 2, correct? What if I was giving you hypotenuse and I wanted to find the short leg? Then I would just have to divide by 2. But in this case, I'm given the short leg. So to find the long leg, let's just call that x and that y. To find the long leg, it's just going to be 2 times 2 squared of 3. Well, you can only multiply the 2 times 2, so that's 4 squared of 3. Does everybody see that? Anybody have any questions on that? Did I explain it? OK. Then to go from the short leg to the long leg, the relationship is whatever the short leg is, to get the long leg, you just multiply by the square root of 3. So then here, I have 2 square root of 3, then multiply by the square root of 3. Well, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 3 squared, which is just going to be 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions? 3 times 3 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Good? All right, so 